Hello everyone, it's Stray Fay here with my new Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. Alrighty, so this is a Pokemon spin-off game, however, it does use your traditional Pokemon game mechanics. So turn-based combat, the moves are the same. Um, however, it does use a very unique story. <laughs> We're not like some snot-nosed kid from like Two House Town going on an adventure to become Pokemon League champion. It is a pretty unique story, and it's really fun. I, I like I like unique stories like this. So I guess the best way to show this off is to just play it. Let's let's press start. Alright, so for this, we're just gonna do story mode. There's also a battle mode. Um, I guess we could technically do battle mode. I have a a GameCube to Game Boy Advance link cable now in my ownership. I didn't used to have one as a kid, but you could connect with Ruby and Sapphire. I don't know about Fire Red and Leaf Green, but you could connect those games and like transfer your Pokemon over and engage in battles with them, although I think my I think my game cartridges <laughs> I think the the batteries have long been depleted since then, so I don't think I don't think I could even do this <laughs> until I fix those cartridges. But I think I think for the good part of it, the good part is the story mode. So yeah, let's let's do a new game. Uh yeah, let's get rid of that. Get rid of the file that's already on here. Alright, what is my name? Um, use one of these default names, or let's do a new name. Let's... You do have lowercase letters in case you want to have a normal name, but I think I'm gonna do like old school traditional Pokemon where everyone's name is just stuck in caps lock. <laughs> Oops. So I'm gonna be Gabriel. Alright, let's start. Let's prepare for an awesome cutscene that's gonna be coming up. Is Gabriel okay? Yes. And just like that, we're already <laughs> we're already introduced as a badass, <laughs> and we already have control of our character. Yay! All right, what is here? Where are we? Looks like some sort of gas station. All right, before I get too ahead of myself, let's check out let's check out the menus. Um, I don't think there's anything in the PDA, but it will become important later. Snag list. My my email. Got to check my email. Ooh, I have a lot of money. <laughs> they gave us a lot of poke poke dollars. Ten thousand poke dollars. Um, all right. That's that. We'll get into the PDA more often. We do start off with a bunch of items. Um, they gave us super potions, potions, a bunch of stuff to heal like every status ailment, and oh, some full heals too. They're very generous. They're very generous. In the beginning, I guess. Alright, here are our starter Pokemon. Let's check them out. So yeah, we get two. A uh, unique feature of this game is that you need to have two Pokemon set to the front. Because every battle here is a double battle. I guess is just how they shoehorned that special mechanic. Because it wasn't really that prevalent in Ruby and Sapphire. There's only a few people that engaged in double battles. So I guess they just decided to make a whole game where it's based off this. Alright, let's check out. Let's check out 
Our stats. Oh yeah, <laughs> also. These two are boys. No matter how much you save scum in the beginning, you can never get a girl. <laughs> I was so sad because I always wanted Espeon. I always want Espeon to be a girl because it's so cute. Espeon's one of my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> it's like, it looks like a cute cat. But yeah, you can only get males. I don't know, maybe it's so. You can trade these Pokemon to Ruby Sapphire. So maybe, maybe it just stops you from being able to breed them, but you're still able to get those Pokemon added to your Pokedex? I don't know. I don't know why I decided to do that. Alright, so there's a lot of information on this screen, but I guess the most important ones to notice is synchronize your ability, pass on status problems. Um, I don't think it... I think it's like burn, paralysis, and poison. Not sleep. Can't pass on sleep. That sucks. <laughs> it would become a stalemate, I guess, if that happened. Um, our nature is relaxed. This is something that was introduced in the third generation of Pokemon. Um, yeah, you got natures. Um, so it would either, depending on the nature, it would increase one stat by 10% and decrease another stat by 10%. So relaxed nature is actually pretty good. Actually pretty good for an Umbreon, actually. Relaxed nature increases defense reduces speed by 10%, so yeah, Mumbria is actually a pretty good tank. He doesn't have that much speed anyway, so usually you're attacking second. Uh, Alright, our attacks. Probably not even going to use most of these attacks. We got Bite. Bites with Vicious Fangs. May cause flinching. That's very nice. It's a very nice uh, effect that it has, although you have to attack first to be able to cause flinching. Um, secret power and attacks with effects that vary by location. So I think, yeah, this is a normal type move, but I think depending on where you're at. So like if you're in a grassy area and you use secret power, it, it changes the type to grass and I don't know. I don't know if that's how it works in this game actually. <laughs> I think they kind of tweak things as they move on in generations. Taunt taunts the target into only using attack moves. I'll probably never use this, but this would be good in competitive battles. And we got Snatch. Steals and uses the target's move if it raises stats. Probably another move that's also good in competitive battles. But <laughs> I think for the most part, I'm probably just only going to use Bite. <laughs> Alright, our next Pokemon, Espeon. Also has the same ability, Synchronize. Um, okay, has a quirky nature. I think quirky natures... They're neutral. It, it neither raises or decreases any stat by 10%. So that's okay, because, um, I don't know. It just makes things easier. I, I make it feel like I'm not being gipped out of anything, like, important. So that's good. Espeon is a very good special attacker. And with high speed, too. So, usually, I have Espeon just destroying everything. <laughs> Alright, Espeon's movesets. Confusion, a psychic attack that may cause confusion. Okay, your basic type psychic attack. Uh, we got return, an attack that increases power with friendship. So, um, I'm not sure what's the maximum power for this. I also want to say 80, maybe 100. But yeah, the more, more the more your Pokemon likes you, Pokemon happiness. Um, the way you raise happiness is either by walking around a bunch of steps or just. Leveling up your Pokemon will also gain happiness. They decrease hap in happiness if you, if they die a lot, <laughs> and if you feed them bitter items. But yeah, the more the more the the more the invisible happiness stat is up, the more power this attack will do. Uh, reflect creates a wall of light that weakens physical attacks. This is good in double battles because I think it protects both your team members. It raises it for what, what five turns, and then it goes away. You have to reapply it. Alright, and then Helping Hand boosts the power of the recipient's moves. <laughs> also another attack that's good in double battles. Um, I wish this attack was on Umbreon, because Espeon is my heavy special attacker, so it pretty much doubles doubles the power of the move. And I think it does have move priority. It'll, it'll trigger on the beginning of the turn. But yeah, I really wish Umbreon had this attack and not Espeon. <laughs> I'd rather buff up Espeon <laughs> to like one hit kill stuff. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, don't worry about the contest effects. There's no contests in this game. There there would be contests though if you 
transferred these Pokemon to Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, if you have Emerald. Alright, that's all we need to know about our Pokemon. I, I like my natures. I think I got pretty good natures here. Alright, so we're at a gas station, it looks like. Look at this, this lovely blue water. It's just some very, very blue water. Too blue! <laughs> you know, there's trash in it. Oh no, oops. Alright, if you go too far, you do end up going to the map. We're at Outskirts Stand. A lonely gasoline stand in a desolate desert. Travelers visit on their journeys, and that's all we, where we can go, so... <laughs> I guess we gotta, we gotta go inside um, the truck here. There's, there's something squirming in the sack. You! <laughs> and we're not gonna do anything about it. Isn't it like... Like, we're guessing it's probably a Pokemon. But still, it's just baking in the sun. We don't even care. It's like whatever, not my problem. Um, can I investigate anything? Oh, I just feel like I'm able to investigate stuff in Pokemon games. Oh, what's this? Warm gear is on the floor. It appears to be junk. Um, okay, that's kind of odd. That's, that's the only thing I can look at. All right, who are these goons? <laughs> We sure picked out a. I love chowing down after a job. It adds to the flavor, I swear. <laughs> yeah, we bagged yourself a great big catch, too. Boss will be sure to fix this, but let up good with big rewards, too. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than this. So, did you just catch a Pokemon and put it in a sack? Could you not use Pokeballs? Huh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> Just witness that, we don't even care. Alright, let's head in here, I guess. Oh god, that's loud. <laughs> Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Eclo Eclo? Eclo? <laughs> I'm gonna say that's Eclo. Eclo Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time the police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become apparent. Eventually. Yeah, eventually. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, that was us. <laughs> Wait, so, okay, so those are the people that we blew up. Or at least their building. We didn't kill them. But <laughs> so they were Team Snagum. I'm guessing they are the criminal organization in this region. Sort of like Team Rocket. No, they're just Team Snagum. <laughs> hey, do you know about Team Snagum? Um, well, I guess now I do. They're a seriously nasty lot. There's no telling how many trainers have suffered at their hands. What if I said no? <laughs> they're a bunch of heartless crooks. They rip off Pokemon from trainers without any hesitation. They either use something called a snag ball to catch Pokemon from the rightful trainers in battle. Guessing that you're a trainer, you best be careful. Snag balls. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. I haven't seen your face around these parts. A traveler, huh? Not that it matters. I don't know where you might have come from, but relax and stick around for a while. <laughs> you have a. Buffman. Buffman McGee. You have a very weird outfit, I have to say. <laughs> the colors? I don't know if that's supposed to be like a reggae outfit or something. But yeah. It's very. Very colorful. Col col colorful. Colorful. Um. Let's see. Oh god, I can look at the TV again. Um. Is it the same? This, this looks like the same information. Mark for arrest. Blah blah blah. Not even abandoned. Okay, it's the same, same information. You know, I don't quite understand what happened, but having your hideout blow up on you. Crime doesn't pay, I guess. I love a crime-free life, so nothing's gonna blow up on me. Whoa! I don't know about that, man. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have normal lives, and it's kind of blown up on them too. Ugh. Yeah, things have been tough. Work has been tough, or lack of work too. Really make any money? Can I, t I can't even touch the jukebox, really. All right, fine. Hello, lady. There's no forgiving at Team Snagum. They don't deserve it. Not when they steal Pokemon from trainers. Why? I'd give a hip hip hooray if they were wiped out with their wretched hideout. Okay, lady. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I, I see your your pro death penalty. <laughs> I see. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk away. Who are you, pink haired dude? You're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? Um, yes, I do have Pokemon. <laughs> I can tell. And you're good. I can see it in your eyes. I bet your Pokemon are impressive too. If the opportunity ever arises, I like to have a battle with you. <laughs> Though I doubt I'd have any chance of beating you. Oh, we we can fight right now. Come on, let's throw down. Hello. <laughs> this is not much space here. Um. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. Why is this thing turning? You're. I know it looks like a train, the building, but you're not actually moving. It seems like a waste of energy. All right. Um. That was all the people I needed to talk to. Can I like? Can I leave now? Yo, wait up! Who's this? Oh, it's pink-haired dude. <laughs> hey, my name's Willie. <laughs> After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to paddle you. It's like I'm compelled to. <laughs> We're gonna find out soon that Willie has actually probably the most normal name in this world. Anyway, you look at it. It's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. So what do you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Um... Uh, yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure this is... I have to do this. Yeehaw! That's spirit. Are you like Southern? Alright, alright. Over here this way. You like the yeehaw? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm burning now. I'm on fire. It's a full throttle time. Vroom, vroom! Let's roll! Alright, dude. Don't start vroom, vrooming on me on your invisible... on your invisible bicycle. <laughs> There we go, it's our first battle against Ryder Willy. What do you have? You have two zigzagoon, of course. <laughs> of course you do. Oh man. I hope the music isn't too loud. I did try to like test things out earlier. I find that the overworld music is like normal, and then the battle music is ridiculously loud. So, I might have to adjust things as we go along, so forgive me. Alright, so, yeah, I'm just gonna use Bite, and I'm gonna use Confusion. I'm gonna try to focus Fire one down, and then, yeah, just rinse repeat. Nothing too complicated. Wow, one hit! Espeon, wow! They're like the same level and everything. Although, these guys are technically babies. I'm not I'm not sure why you guys aren't evolved yet. Aren't you supposed to be evolved by now, or is it a little bit more? Oh, that was cute. Bam! That did hardly any damage! <laughs> You're a little bit overpowered with our evolved Pokemon. Yeah, it's like that game looks really cute though. That was cute when he like, ran between his trainer's legs. Well, he's dead now. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Zigzagoon. You did not put up much of a fight, I'm sorry. Player defeated Ryder Willy. Well, <laughs> what did I get for that? <laughs> Wapped out. I still need seasoning. What? I mean, I'm pretty sure you're full of salt now. Have you lost? I got some Poké Dollars for winning. Not much, but still. It'll add up. But yeah, you're tough. Real tough. You did a real number on us. Hey, I know. Why not test your skills in Phoenix City? It's out west of here. You'll find trainers who are way better than me there. Should go out there and get some battling in. Alright. We have our next destination. We can leave now. <laughs> Alright, let's go east. Phoenix City, a gorgeous jewel of a town that overflows with water in a forbidding desert. Alright, let's go. Aww. No, I'm a Pokemon in the, the, They get to travel with me in the in the passenger seat. That's so adorable. Oh, it's you two guys again. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you can't say that, but it won't stop squirming. It's make makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay, settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little longer. <laughs> Help! 
Someone let me out! Kidnappers! Oh, there was a person in there. <laughs> that tape didn't keep her yap shut. Hey, quit your shouting! Oh, drat. Did that punk hear all that? <laughs> wow. Plop! <laughs> Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. We're going to have to kill you. <laughs> Blame it on your own bad luck. Or we're just gonna do a Pokemon battle. Really? Would that really silence me? Just like... Pokemon battling? Alright, shady guy falling <laughs> let up to Wismer, of course. Why don't you have any, like... What's the ball for Wismer? Loudred? Why don't- why aren't you evolved yet? <laughs> Alright, same old song and dance. Bite and confusion. Eh, wow. <laughs> it's beyond. <laughs> it's a murder. And Umbreon's gonna pull off a bite. Can you flinch, maybe? So I, I do no- I take no damage? Look. <laughs> Yeah, Wizard flinched! Lucky! Alright, well. <laughs> I just mopped the floor with you! Alright, you're gone. I don't know why you're a shady guy. Is it because you have shades on? Folly. Ooh, I'm around level to 27. I gained a little bit of everything. Mostly, mostly defense and HP. <laughs> Our special defense. Player defeated Shady Guy Foley. Gah, you're tougher than you look. And I got 500 Poppy Dollars for winning. Cool. You took out my Wismer. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? Huh, <laughs> wait a sec. That face. Might you be. Team Snagums. Oh, is my face well known here? What, what? What's going on out here? Eek! Somebody robbers! They're robbers! <laughs> you be quiet. We're no robbers. We're kidnappers. Get it? Kidnappers. <laughs> what are you from, like, Home Alone or something? Are you Marv? Shut up, Marv! Wh what? You dingbat? Don't shoot off your mouth. Don't get all happy. Just on account of winning this once. The next time we meet, I'll trash you, your Pokemon and all. I don't know about that, dude. I think you need... <laughs> you need some more seasoning. Oh, yuck. There's someone inside there. Gah, this is tied good and tight. Can you believe those people? What a horrible thing to do. Uh, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Please, we need your help. Uh... We need your help! Alright, they're not gonna let me. They're not gonna let me leave. Can you get this rope a tug from the other side? I mean, you say the same thing. Alright, let's help him out. The sack's mouth is firmly closed with a tightly knotted rope. Under the knot? Nah! <laughs> Look at them give us a choice. We can't leave this area. Of course, I'm gonna have to undo the knot. Gabriel tugged hard on a tightly knotted rope. The knot gradually loosened. Gabriel undid the knot, keeping the sack's mouth closed. And this girl comes out anyway. Phew! Thank goodness! I'm saved! Where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is Fennec City. The opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way you battled those goons. It was truly superb. Oh, she could have seen it. I just used two attacks and that was it. Oh, is that so? Thank you. And, uh, you are... Oh, so you're named Gabriel. I am... Alright, we get to name her too. Okay, her default names are Rui, Anka, and Yuki. Um, I almost want to give her her default name. Um... I could name her after, like, another character from, like, a different LP, but I kind of feel like I want her to be her own person. Um, let's give her a different name, though. 
I think this name is also very pretty. Let's call her- it's, this is her Japanese default name, which is Mirei. I don't know why they just didn't put that as one of her defaults. I mean, Rui and and Yuki is a very Japanese name. So, and of course I'm gonna do it all capital letters. Because everything else is capitalized in this game. Is Mirei okay? Yep. My name is Mirei. I'm sure glad I met you. I was in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh! Those guys... Did they use a peculiar Pokemon? Uh... Bleh, well, sorry. Someone didn't mean to, like, yell out so loud. Alright, I need some water. A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? Oh... No, that that's fine then. I mean, they just used Whismur on me. It was nothing, nothing too crazy out there. Well, it's easy to see something on your mind. You should go see our mayor for his advice. Well, it's all capital. Must be important. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square, past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey, Gabriel. I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I get you to escort me for a while? No. <laughs> oh, but those men might come back. Please, can I get you to stick with me for just a little while? No, I'm a lone wolf. Oh, but those men might come back. Please. <laughs> All right. To proceed, we must press yes. Thank you, Gabriel. <laughs> I thought you might say that. No, I said no twice, and you still pushed me. If you're with me, Gabriel, it won't matter if those guys come back again. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for a while. You already became a partner. I wouldn't be too happy about that. No. Now we got a partner that follows us, and she will never leave our side. And eh, <laughs> could get her stuck on things, but yeah, she'll she'll follow us forever, and she's kind of a drag. She also looks very weird. I feel like her eyes are spaced out a little too far apart for my taste. Even though I don't know, I guess everyone looks kind of weird in this world. I, I'm guessing she's supposed to be based off Misty because of like the orange hair, getting very very much Misty vibes. You know, you two make one attractive couple. Makes me a little envious. <laughs> no, you take her then. You take her. I don't want her. The mayor's house is near the fountain square past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's on your left. Alright, I'll probably investigate everything else before that. Um, hello old man. What fine weather this is. It's truly a perfect sort of day for a Pokemon battle. So young one. How about indulging this old man? Let us battle! Oh, okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> Is everyone I talk to gonna wanna fight? Fun old man Drig! Okay, Drig. At least you have two different Pokemon. You have Sentret and Hoot Hoot. Alright, go Umbreon and Espeon. And destroy your team, old man. Um... I think I'm gonna go after the Hootoot. I remember Hootoot having a hypnosis and it being very annoying. Even though hypnosis doesn't. isn't like a 50% chance to hit. Oh well. Let's use confusion too. I think Hootoot is a normal flying type, so it shouldn't, shouldn't be resistant to psychic attacks. Although you survived a lot better. <laughs> you survived a lot better than the other Pokemon I fought. Ooh, critical hit. And you're gone. Bye, Hoot Hoot! Sentry used Defense Curl, uh oh. Can it be a lot harder for Umbreon to, to destroy Sentry when its defense has risen, but... Um, your special defense has not risen, so Espeon will probably destroy you. Oh, a critical hit, really? Okay. That... That destroyed you. I think critical hits do, what, double damage? And plus, it, it, it ignores any, like, stat boost that they did, so, like, 
Like, for example, Umbreon's bite critical hit on Sentret, it would ignore the defense boost that, that the defense curl gave it. Player defeated Old Mandrig. Whoa! I've got to concede on this one, lad. I got 800 Poké Tellers. You had a lot more pocket change. Old man. Ah, yes, you're young, but you've got a bit of spine. Why, you're just like me when I was young. Well done, indeed. Oh, is that it? Okay. <laughs> Wait, what, what did you say? You must break a lot of hearts. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm a lady killer. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just hurt trainer's feelings who lose all the time. Um. Oh God, this is annoying. Yeah, yeah, she, like, whenever you try to, like, turn, she's, like, always there. Like, stop it. Anything investigate? No. And like talk to the people? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna talk to a lot of people, so sorry if, like, a lot of this is unnecessary, but a lot of times talking to people get you items, or maybe they want to battle you, or maybe they just give you story flavor, and nothing else. That's fine. That Team Snagum doesn't frighten me. After all, where those people are is far away from here. They wouldn't come out here. I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> the thugs of Pirate Town. They're much more frightening to me. Oh, they're more, more thugs we're gonna have to fight, it looks like. There's nothing but news about Team Snagum on every channel all day long. Usually they'd have at least one channel showing anime or something. <laughs> oh, are you, are you an otaku? Are you, are you a niche? You just sit around in bed all day watching TV while, I don't know, is that you're like your mom down there? Looks like she's ready to go to work. Um, oh god. <laughs> that scares you every time! This is a repeat from an earlier news story. A Team Snagum member was arrested after being found hiding in Eklo Canyon after the Snagum hideout explosion. During interrogation, the Snagum member revealed that the explosion resulted from a clash between Snagum members. Really? The explosion apparently destroyed the Snag machine, used for stealing Pokemon, however, it is said that only the large snag machine was destroyed. The small portable snag machine appears to have been taken by team, a Team Snagum member who blew up the Snagum hideout. That's the one that we stole, the one that's on our arm right now. Though, so are we planning on stealing some Pokemon? Are we... Are we the anti-hero here? We're, we are the hero, but also a little bit evil. Hello. Hello, lady. Oh, are you traveling? Oh, I envy you. Is it a journey to become an expert trainer? Or a quest to meet Pokemon? Either way, you make me jealous. Any hidden items here? I always, I always check the corners. <laughs> a lot of times there's, there's hidden things. Oh, hi. That's... <laughs> okay, whoops, I talked to the cat's word. Ho wow ho wa ho wo Hiya! If it's not the good looking couple from earlier. Oh, you're the same dude? So what's up? Did you find anything out? Um, not yet. Not right. That's got to be vexing. I know. If it's about Pokemon, there's the pre-gym. It's actually called the Prestige Precept Center. <laughs> but everyone just calls it the pre-gym. The pre-gym is a place where skilled trainers work on their own abilities as well as their Pokemon. You'll still find many trainers who are knowledgeable about Pokemon. I'm sure they can help you. Alright, so... Uh, the pre-gym is on the raised middle part of town. You should visit there. I will. Um, well, yeah, there is- there are gyms here, although they work a little differently. You don't get badges, um, they do have trainers that you can fight, though. You're gonna need to, like, fight a lot of trainers in this game. Um, cause, yeah, that's pretty much the only way you can gain experience in this game. We're gonna find out real soon that there's no wild Pokemon in this game. Um, I guess the region is too... It's too hostile? of an environment for wild Pokemon to live in. So, yeah, the only way you get experience is by battling others. Hey, hello, man. There's was some ruckus going on near the town's entrance earlier. It better not be the goons again from the next town over. Oh, do they come over a lot and cause trouble? Rui, Rui. Rui, Rui. All right, it's, it's Meryl. All right, we found the Pokemon Center. Hello, little girl. 
Oh, you must be travelers. Are you Pokemon trainers too? Yep. I knew it. I was certain that you were. Well, if you want to make a record of your progress, you should save on that PC at the back. The PC at any Pokemon Center is available for use by any trainer. Alright, so yeah, here's the PC. We can save here. Um, well, I'll probably wait to do that at the end of the episode. Um, item storage... I don't think I have anything in here. Yeah, everything's in my... I usually don't worry about <laughs> item storage at this point. It was more important than like... I guess Gen 1 and maybe Gen 2, but... Eventually, they just split up your bags in a way where you have so much space now. Everything's like organized that you really don't really need to worry about space. Um, here's the Pokemon storage. Um, yeah, don't really have any Pokemon yet. There's a neat trick that you can do with this box. Um, we are gonna encounter like a lot of dungeon-like areas where we're not gonna really be able to heal our Pokemon at like a Pokemon Center. However, if you use the box, you can use the box! If you deposit a Pokemon into the box and then take it back out, they will be healed. So a lot of times the game will give us these PCs in like a dungeon in, o in order for us to save before like a boss or something. But you can use it to heal your Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Um, here is the nurse! Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center! We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Sure, I mean they didn't take that much damage, but I'll just show this off. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. And just like that, they're better. Thank you for waiting! We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. An odd... Pokemon are odd. You just put them in a machine and just force them to full health. Hi, big guy! Look, look! This is really neat! See, it's a map of Fennec City! Isn't it cool? It's spinning! The town's layout is displayed. Although we don't get to really pick the map. <laughs> is there a map in this game? I don't think there's a map in this game. Every button I push leads to the menu. That PC can be blah. <laughs> that PC can be used not only to save your progress, but to also access the Pokemon storage system. Make sure it becomes easy and convenient. <laughs> Hello. You look like <laughs> bold old men. Are you Mr. Fuji? <laughs> I don't know, that's pretty much all we can do here. Um, there is a downstairs. However, we can't really use this area quite yet. I'm terribly sorry, but we're still getting things ready. Please come back again later. Alright, I'm guessing this is like the trade center. Although, I'm not gonna be able to trade with anything. Um, if you wanted, you could, you could transfer your Pokemon to your game cartridges. Your GBA game cartridges, Ruby and Sapphire. Um, but yeah, this game, this game is actually pretty important to like completing your Pokedex in this game, or those games. Um, you're gonna see throughout the adventure, most of the Pokemon that we're able to acquire are actually from Gen 2, and there's like a sprinkling from like Gen 3, but yeah, most of them are from Generation 2. Um. I think this is mostly so you can transfer those Pokemon to your third generation games, to Ruby Sapphire, because they don't have access to a lot of those Pokemon anymore. You're kind of- you're locked out at this point from trading from Gold and Silver and Crystal versions, so you can't get Gen 2s. But you're able to get Gen 1s from Fire Red and Leaf Green. Oh. Alright, let's move on. Let's keep talking to people. I've been going for a while, jeez. You're still traveling, you should stock up on supplies at the shop there. I recommend it. After all, it's my ha- <clears throat> Um, well, anyway, that shop has the best reputation around these parts. Oh, you wanna- I think you have a, a little bit of bias. Alright, here's the Pokemart right next to the Pokemon Center. Alright, hello, welcome to our Pokemart. How may I serve you? Alright, they sell- They sell healing items? Pretty much everything that we have in our bag right now. I'm not gonna buy any of these. I usually do pretty well without without status items, but I don't know, we might need them later for long dungeons. Might might behoove us to actually have some of these so we're not running in and out to like heal our Pokemon. Oh uh, boo, I keep getting figures that I don't want. Darn. The one I want is under that capsule. Aw, oh, you playing a little gotcha thing? <laughs> 
Use up all your quarters. There's lots of things to look at. Although, I don't know what some of these- <laughs> This looks like Pokemon paint! What is this? I don't have a Pokemon of my own yet, but I come here every day. They have all sorts of Pokemon merchandise here. It's fun to just look even. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, they seem to have other things too, like the gacha machine. I don't know what's on these shelves, amiibo, who knows. They look like they could be amiibo, they look like maybe they're supposed to be action figures, they look like they're wrapped in plastic. Hello lady, if your Pokemon's hurt and weakened, you should use a potion on it. Every trainer should be carrying at least a potion or two. It's not as if they're going to be a Pokemon Center when you need one, that's why a potion always comes in handy. Alright, lady. Also, your outfit's very weird. At first, at first I thought, like, this- It's like this brown cape. At first I thought it was supposed to be hair. And, like, she just had, like, two-toned hair. Like, orange and brown, but it's supposed to be, like, some sort of cape or shawl. I'm guessing she's supposed to be a rich lady here. I don't know. I- I don't really expect rich people to wear capes, so... <laughs> Maybe it's made out of, like, fur. Only the finest centrets made this- made this cape. An ad out cures a poisoning, paralyzed heal, cures a paralysis, and awakening wakes a Pokemon up from sleep. But if your Pokemon falls asleep in battle, just call it its name. That'll wake it up. It doesn't get it any cheaper than free. Alright, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I guess you don't need awakenings. Um, right, there was a call button on the battle screen, I think. Did it replace where run would usually be? We can't really run from anything, so. Well, yeah, I guess. You don't need awakenings. I could sell my awakenings. Anything else? Oh, there's another counter up here. Hello, welcome to our Pokemart. How oh, I serve you? Uh, okay, you sell these things. These are stat boosts. They're named after the stat that they boost. Um, I usually don't- I usually don't use these though, because... I don't know, all battles are usually pretty short. I don't really need to boost anything. Oh yeah, these, I guess, will- Guard spec, pretend stop reduction when used in battle. That's pretty good. I think about it. <laughs> There's some Pokemon that like continuously try to growl at you. And it's like a fight where you're, you're not trying to kill that Pokemon, so it's like a really long drawn out fight. Race is a critical hit ratio during one battle. And these are pretty obvious what they do. Okie doke. Alright, no Pokeballs, though. How are we gonna catch Pokemon? To catch a wild Pokemon, you need a Pokeball of some sort. That's common knowledge. But, as you know, there are no wild Pokemon around these parts. We technically didn't know that, but this guy will tell you. <laughs> so there's no demand for Pokeballs, meaning no one sells them. That's common knowledge, too. Okay, that explains why the Pokemon doesn't sell Pokeballs. <laughs> How do people get Pokemon? I don't know, maybe they import them from other countries, I guess. Maybe that's why the people don't have that much of a variety. It's like, well, I can only get my hands on Zigzagoon, so this is gonna be my partner for life. Alright, do I wanna keep exploring? Or do I wanna... Maybe I should save this upper area up for the next episode. We've been going for quite a while. I'm kinda sorry that we spent most of this time just talking, but... Um... I don't know, I feel like talking is pretty important. It gives you- it gives you story. Alright, let's save. I probably won't save on screen, but since this is the first episode, I'll- I'll save. Usually I- I like to check the video first before I save to make sure everything's alright. Alright, um, yeah, save by progress. It's alright. This save file. Progress has been saved, alright. That's it. I hope you guys had a fun time. I, I, I know you've probably seen this game before. Um, but, I don't know. Maybe it's nice to see it again. Maybe you haven't played this or seen this in a while. Maybe it's nice to just see a different perspective. I don't know. It's kind of nice to play this game again. I haven't played this game in a while. And I never beat it. So this is, I guess this is a good chance for me to try to beat this game. I, I usually beat the main story. And then, I never really beat the after game stuff. <laughs> I've tried to, it's pretty darn long. But, yeah, I'll probably finish it, I'll 100% it. At least, I'll 
Technically, I can't 100% this. And it, it always bothers me when I can't 100% these. I can't, like, get all the Pokemon in this game, because, like, a lot of them require, like, accessories, like the e-reader. The e or, like, oh, you need a Japanese copy of the game to get this. So, yeah. We're, we're just gonna do everything that this base game has to offer. Like, we're not gonna use any of the, the bonus accessories. Anywho, I hope you guys still had a fun time, and I'll see you in the next episode! Uh, bye bye!